Anduin versus Jaina. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. All right. Uh, so because we're going first, we want minions instead of answers. So probably ship them all away. If you keep anything at all, uh, I would consider maybe Holy Smite to combine it with uh, a turn three play where you smite a minion of his. But yeah, okay, we decided to keep them all. So that's a mistake at least. Two out of those three cards should be in the deck now. Let's see if you get a good card from the top. No, it's not you done yet. Cast a spell. I want to cast a spell. Eh, that does nothing, so... Well... Hero power yourself up. For the... Uh, the chance that you get something that is affected by us. So that... that you just wasted the cards. So you used one card to deal one damage to the, a uh, minion that does not affect your board. And now you used two cards to remove half of that card. So you used two cards and your opponent used half a card. And that's that that might uh, lose you some uh, in the long term. So again, still nothing to play here. Just hero power yourself because this babbling book is not a threat to you. Job done. The end. But you shoot for the shadow of pain. So secret, it's a bit annoying. Most likely a mirror entity. Uh, still, I would still yeah, prefer to play the shield master because it's a 3 5 control, instead of a 3 6. Well, actually, well, they both get removed by fireballs, so doesn't matter that much. If he decides to not trade, you could have easily removed it with pain, but now it's well, it's it's still okay. You can remove it, this one with shadow with pain, and then heal the minion up, and then attack through that taunt, and have still have a three-five board control, or which is equally fine as just playing the a second minion to get more board presence. Actually, I think I like that more. Are you my master? Yeah, good. Job done. So in the next turn, you have a four drop and a heal play. Shiny. Add a coin to your hand. Seen that one around much. Eh. I don't think this should affect your play. Increase your board size. Uh, it's turn six next turn, so they can't flame strike yet. That was a bad move because you just gave him a card or a coin, so a tempo advantage. Now you gave two. I understand drawing cards, but uh, you uh, made it so this minion is vulnerable to being killed without anything, and he has two mana extra now, which he can use at any given time he wants. And it's probably a mage with a flame waker if this is wild, uh, which means those coins will be very. Doing very much damage. Um, well, hmm. 
you should probably kill that. If not, for the next turn you have a shield master and a here play. Which has now become a lit little worse. We probably will be forced to give him another coin. There is a small, very small... You, you either Frostbolt to kill this, and then play the Shield Master and use Shadow World Shield before you kill this minion. Or uh, the alternative would be uh, to first Shadow World Shield so he gets another coin and kills one of his cards in his deck. I feast upon you go for a bit stronger minion. And that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't play a bigger one. And the correct trade would be to kill this huge threat. Your spells cost one, one, one less. His deck is looking to be based upon spells. So giving him more spell advantage is not that good. Well, at least that, that's. He got that spell on a random one and. It didn't do much, so. I've got that going for you. So now you lost your ward and you still have the minion. But that's a bit problematic. Uh, I'd probably play the shield master and put a shield on it. Oh no, he could have another uh, mirror entity or polymorph. So the farseer first would have been better in that case. So you play the farseer now or the brew master even and shield it up. Shielding up the sheep did nothing because it's still is killed for free by this minion so you would rather have had a 3-5 minion here and a 1-1 here so neither of well this one doesn't die to his minion so he has well he spends crossbow anyway now and he gets a free free trade off here so this is again a card you used for something he doesn't have to use. So you give away one advantage. And he doesn't go for it. Which I s understand a bit. Well, that's a problem. You're probably dead ne next turn. Uh, you could fish for a potion, although that's very risky. Or put, just play the ogre and heal yourself. Hit with the sheep in the face. And hope you survive, basically. Uh, I, well, that was a bit wasteful. And because he has 11 damage on board, you now still die to fireball. Job's done. Yeah, I do understand that one for like using up all your mana. I understand that reasoning. But you still killed your heart, which wasn't doing much, but you still killed the two health. Okay. either trolling you or not. I'm not sure yet. He could still kill you with a fireball. Uh, two options only. Either hope for an extremely lucky Cthune 
or after killing one I, I don't know I don't think it matters or going for a risky hmm. potion uh, I think dragon fire potion would work no uh, I'd probably go for the potion you're dead anyway. Unfortunate. I'm not sure why he's postponing the. There we go. 